kids. A new warning for parents tonight after the CDC finds a connection between COVID-19 vaccines and an extremely rare side effect heart inflammation in teenagers and young adults. Tonight, doctors are saying the benefits of getting the vaccine still outweigh the risks. Meantime, CDC officials are planning to update their guidance to say that anyone who suffers from heart inflammation after one dose of the vaccine should defer the second dose until more information is known. And the FDA is planning to put together a product warning that notes this risk. News News Brian White spoke with a local doctor to help parents sort through all of this and has more on what we've learned about the local cases of this rare side effect here in San Diego. Marcella here at Rady Hospital. They've seen a handful of cases involving heart conditions with adolescent boys after getting the COVID-19 vaccine. And some parents are still wondering, is it safe for my kid to get the vaccine? Parents should know that if their kids complain of chest pain or any shortness of breath, uh, particularly in the few days following vaccine, that it could be related to this reaction. Infectious disease specialist Dr. Mark Sawyer is talking about a heart condition called myocarditis, which is not uncommon at Rady Hospital and can be caused by many things. Uh, the difference here is that it seems to be getting triggered by the vaccine. If it's very severe, it affects the heart function, but the cases we've seen have not been severe. So far, Rady Hospital has seen a total of eight cases involving adolescent boys with the heart symptoms, but Dr. Sawyer has good news. It's rare and it's not turning out to be very serious, although kids are being hospitalized as a precaution, they tend to get better very quickly within a couple of days and go home. For those with myocarditis after the receipt of the first dose, the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices, or ACIP, held a meeting today with the CDC to review data on the myocarditis side effects experienced by some people after receiving the vaccine. Here locally, according to the county, 105,308 people aged 12 to 17 have been vaccinated. That means the eight cases admitted to Rady Hospital for myocarditis represent 0.007% of all vaccine recipients in that age range. This is a rare event and, you know, much rarer than kids getting put in the hospital with COVID the disease. And for any parents who may be questioning whether the vaccine is safe for kids? Choosing not to vaccinate because you're concerned about this rare side effect puts your child at risk to get actual COVID disease. It's much better to get vaccinated. Brian White, News 8.